What's up, YouTube? It's your boy once again. Woo! With another episode of Foolery. All right, let's jump right in here, man. Let's jump right in here today. I had a kid with my mom's friend. Ladies, I don't even know. Sometimes I just don't get it with y'all. Like, the moral compass is at, like, a zero. Y'all just don't care, man, who y'all spread them up to. Y'all just don't. And so, you know, this just... It just don't make no sense to me. But, hey, she called in, said she looking for a new dude, and so Kendra going to try to find her somebody. So let's just jump right into this thing and get it popping. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and share. And, man, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's get it. No. Have you been here before? No, I haven't. Okay, you ready, boo? I am. All right, what's your name, baby? Nayla. <laughs> Nayla, where are you calling me from? Fresno. Fresno, okay. How old are you? I'm 32. I'll be 33 in August. Nayla, <laughs> Fresno, 32. So you are a Leo or a Virgo? Yeah, I'm a Leo. Do you have any kids? I do. I have twins that's nine, a daughter that's... Uh, no, my twins is 10, my daughter 9, and then I have a 2-year-old. Okay. Wow. So, four kids. I do. Okay. All by the same man? Um, no. My first kid's uh, father, he was murdered. Sorry. So, 2017. Yeah. So. so how, many, yeah. How, many <laughs> how many men do you have um, kids by now? Well, the first three is by one. Okay. And then my... my Two-year-old is my wife. So okay, two. so two men. Yeah. Sorry about your first kid's dad. Why are yeah. you not with the man you had a baby with two years ago? Okay, here it comes. They always got to put down the last baby daddy. I don't know why, but every time Kendra asks, why are you not with the child, the youngest child's father? They always go to put him down. Oh, it's something wrong with him. But you slept with him. And made a baby. He owed and I was tripping. He's he what? Oh, and I'm tripping. He owed like he um he ain't mine. Shit. Was <laughs> he ever yours mine. or no? Um no, I was just like from my first kid father, you know, I was just like going through it a lot. And um Turning up too much, and uh, yeah, and it happened. And I kept my baby. Come to find out, he had a whole baby mama pregnant with that baby, and 10 more other kids. And my baby's a secret, and he ain't in his life, he's a deadbeat. Like, it's just weird. Like, the baby did something to him, but yeah, okay. So, let's recap this. How come you ladies find out so much after you have the child with them? After you have the child, you know everything about this man. But before you have this child, you know absolutely nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. You can't sit and tell me you just now finding out all this stuff. I'm pretty sure somebody told you don't fool with this man. Unless you up there creeping and nobody know what you're doing. But every time, every time it always come back, you guys, like y'all just found out about all these things about this man. Come on, really? He 50, what, four? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's 54. He's my mom's age. He was my mama's friend. Woo, yeah. yeah. My mom and friend, he didn't like, like I said, I was with my kid's father for like, <coughs> since I was 18 years old. Guys, she's 32. She's 32, fooling around with a man, 54. Her mother's friend. 
Now, you telling me you don't know nothing about this man? And it's your mom's friend? I'm pretty sure she's talked about and She may have been with this man. I'm thinking the mom may have been with this man somewhere down the line. But she, oh, why are you fooling with your mom's old ass friend? And then you had a baby by him? Come on, man. Not looking good, ladies. Not looking good at all. So, after grieving and going through everything I was going through and still going through, because it never gets old. <coughs> you know? Okay. Not to cut it off again, but how long has she been messing with this dude? Because your, 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 your first three kids' father passed away in 2017. Your child's only two. These are not old videos here. These are recent videos. So how long you been messing around with this dude? I know you're still saying you're grieving, but that was 2017. And you can't be grieving that hard where you just, look, I just fool with a 54-year-old just to get over him. And then have a baby? Why are you not on birth control? You had three kids already. See, that's stuff I don't understand, too. How, you already got three kids. Why are you on birth control? And I know a lot of you say, well, birth control, do this and do that. But you know what? What I, what I learned, when y'all don't want to have any more kids, all of a sudden that birth control works. No lie. No freaking lie. When y'all are really, truly tired and don't want any more kids, all of a sudden that birth control works. Ain't that something? I'm telling you. It's a miracle. Uh, I mean, I did what I did. And, I mean, my, my son, he here. He mine. I take care of all four of mine by myself, so I'm not looking for no help. Yes, you are. So, <coughs> excuse me, my God. <laughs> <laughs> they, daddy, they daddy was a working good man he was what 26 when they did what they did um to him or whatever it was a mistaken identity so you know he was you know he was working all the way up until he was like 18 all the way up until they killed him so my kids is taken care of so you know i am too so it is what it is yeah okay i got a question how did your before you answer that question, there, Kendra, she keeps saying her kids take care. Okay, Social Security will take care of the kids if they was on if he was on the birth certificate, but it doesn't take care of her. She wasn't married to him, so unless she's getting the kids Social Security and using it as her income, that's the only way to take care of her. Y'all know what I mean? So unless some kind of way he flipped it, I don't even think you can. You put a girlfriend on your insurance policy. A baby of moms? Uh, that's what I'm saying. So unless you getting there, you know, they getting three checks and you using it to take care of household items and all that, then you saying you good, then, I mean, I guess you good. But, I don't know. How does your mom feel about her friend dating you? Oh, my Lord, we ain't going to get into that, honey. She done picked that man over me and my child so many times. Because it's that's her man. Wait, what they had to date? Did they ever date? No, she just felt like that was her friend, and I'm just yeah, like, I'm your right. daughter, and yes, I have a kid by him, so step down on that. But <laughs> it oh, you know what it could have been. Now I understand she didn't want the man. She probably know the man's a hoe, but maybe she was kind of feeling the man, and he just hadn't gotten there with her, and went for the daughter. Know what I mean? Or she may have thought the daughter was being a little too friendly around her friend and gave up the cheeks. That could be what happened. It's like, well, you know I was feeling him and you gave up the cheeks to him. That may have been That's why mom was so damn mad. That's why mom keep choosing him over you. And that might be why you took your, man, your mother's man. It was, it was crazy. I went to jail. Oh, it was crazy over all that bullshit with them, too. It was weird. But no, well, they never fucked around. How, how was it now? <sighs> Man, shit just hit the fan once I had had them. I just found out a lot more than what the fuck I needed to know about that man. And I, it was just too late. Baby mama drama and shit, like... 
just too much for me to handle while I'm taking care of the <coughs> other kids and still grieving because, like I said, the shit never gets old. So I just ain't got time for it no more. I'm over it. Okay. Ooh, y'all, we got a whole backstory. <laughs> so we got Nayla so from <laughs> California, 32 Leo. Um, mom to four, a 10 year old, and two, two nine year old twins, and a two year old. What do you do for a living? Um, I do child care, and like I said, you know, my kids are taken care of, so. so I do child care. I can't really do much because my baby, I still breastfeed him, so it'd be hard. So I, I, do, I do try to pick up on jobs, but he be acting crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I do hair. Like, I done bust down in this kitchen, get my money, you feel me? <laughs> and it just be hard because he's, he's still breastfeed. So he just be on me, and I be taking hella long to do people hair, and that's unprofessional. I'm already being ghetto doing it out my kitchen. So then I got to take breaks to feed heads, his big old ass. So, it just so basically, you don't have a real profession. That's what it is. Because if the child's that needy, you can't watch kids anywhere else except in your home. So you're doing some daycare in your home with somebody else's kids. I got it. You're doing hair and have to stop to feed your baby. And how long do y'all breastfeed, man? She said her baby is two. Y'all still breastfeed at two? Don't they have teeth by two? I don't know. I don't know. My wife didn't breastfeed. But... I didn't think you go that long. I, cause I, I mean, because they start having teeth, you got to let them go, right? So, I don't know. But either way, either way. <laughs> It'd be crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I do hair whenever I feel like the Indian child care. Whatever floats my boat. I don't sell ass, though. I don't do that. Why would you even say that? <laughs> you don't do what? It's big enough, but I don't sell it. <laughs> Why would you even say that? I don't see Huh? Is that an option? <laughs> right. Hell no, that ain't no option. Why would you say I that? I got a daughter. Mm-mm. No, <laughs> I got a daughter. I got kids. I don't do none of that. But no, I'm not broke neither. I don't need nobody okay, taking so care of Okay, so your job is kids. you do child care in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, honey. So we got Nayla, Fresno, California, 32, um, as a Leo. Moms of four, by two men, one pa one was murdered, unfortunately. Uh, Never married, does child care, and here. What kind of man are you looking for, baby girl? Someone who likes big chest tattoos. Definitely. Now, she has a large chest, but there's some things I just think women should stay away from. And that's the big chest tattoo and the upper arm tattoos like where the biceps and stuff are like if it's down below the rip like the elbow i think it's gonna be cute but every time i see a woman have them up i always think it's a little masculine because that's what men always had theirs you know before the women start doing everybody put on the trot and their biceps and triceps and things of that nature and their shoulders but now the women are getting you know i got one one where she got big dallas cowboy day of tattoo on her arm and some other stuff people are getting you know, the bands like the dudes get. I used to have one across where I covered it. You know, like the little band across the, your bicep back in the day. But like the women with the chest tattoos and stuff. I don't know, man. It just, I for me personally, it's not my thing. It's not. And I know a lot of guys, not not their thing. Oh, my God. The list going to go on. So, not a liar. No cheaters. Um, for <laughs> what? Uh, okay, that's my friend. She already married though. But um, what kind, man? Just like trustworthy, trustworthy man for real, like. And that's one thing. When she asks this, they really don't have a description of what type of man they really want. They just go by pretty much what everybody always says. But, you know, if you break it down to what you have going on, you want somebody to come and be able to mix in what I have going on and we make something from it. So all this stuff other people claiming may not work for you. Like everybody say, I want a God-fearing man. But everybody's not 
looking for God fearing man. A lot of people don't even go to church now. So why would a God fearing man come into play on that? You see what I'm saying? So stuff like that, you know, all this, he need to have teeth, he need to have a car, he need to have, of course, you know, you're supposed to have all that. But when women say things like this, they tell me that these are the type of dudes you have already been dating. Dudes that don't have cars, dudes that's missing their teeth, dudes that uh, don't work, you know, don't have clean clothes. Like one girl said, the dude was dirty. I don't want nobody who don't take baths, you know, like all kind of crazy stuff like that. So they got to have a real description of what you want. And that has to be based off your life and your lifestyle and where you want to go after that. You see what I'm saying? So where you want to move to, you need somebody to help you move to that direction. And they may already be there. So that that's the type of person you need, you know, and that's where you need to start looking at and stop looking at as I'm just throwing out some stuff just to get a man. Because you'll get what you're asking for. That's for damn sure. Um, what else? Because I'll destroy my whole baby daddy. That's who I don't want. A liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a narcissist. A man, just a fuck nigga. I don't want. But you had a baby by him. <laughs> You had a baby. I don't him. want no brokies. I don't want no game bangers. I don't want no weed smokers. I don't want. I want a man, and that's just period. Because I got four kids, and you got to be around my kids, and I don't allow none of that to go to go down. So you're saying you spend a lot of time saying what you don't want, but Kendra asks you what type of man do you want? Do you understand the question now? Tell me what type of man you do want. I don't I don't care about what you don't want. Just tell me what you do want. And she still hadn't said it. She still hadn't. She just described her last baby father. And that's on you because he was always this F, F ninja. Let's be real. The man 54. He's set in his way. He's a he's a old he's an OG ninja. <laughs> Shit. That's your theory. <laughs> Okay, you kind of just gave me your deal breakers, but do you want to just, you gave a lot, but what else, do you have any more deal breakers? Oh, no, that's it. That's it? Yeah, that's kind of it, because I live in Fresno, it's small out here, and they crazy out here. They is whacked out. So, <laughs> I just know what I don't want. Yeah. Let's see what I tell you. And that's just what I don't so, want. So what is it that you that's do want? want? Oh All right, so we got Nayla, Fresno, California, see, 32 didn't I tell you? Leo. Um, do you want more kids? If I no. get married, no. one more. No. One no. no. Okay. No. Should the guy look a certain way? Yeah. Um, don't look like that. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> No, okay, so I don't I'm not picky. You know what I mean? Like I'm not picky. Um, but I'm not gonna come on here talking about, oh, I want a, a six foot man. No. I just want a, a, a good looking person. You ain't gotta be all six foot chocolate, all that shit. No. You can be regular, but just don't be looking crazy. But you know if you're gonna look crazy or not. That's a period. You just Okay, what about money? Can you make a certain amount of money? This little noise is not mine. It actually is on her show. And she started having some difficulties with it. So kind of bear with it for a little bit. I, I think they clear it up. No. Just don't ask me for none. You said earlier really no broke you. So what's broke to you? Yeah, like I'm talking about like real life broke. I'm talking about can't uh, Ubering around, can't don't have no car, that type of broke. Like you ain't got no car. You ain't got no car. Never had no car. Living at home with your mom in her basement. That type of broke. Boy. See, see okay. what I'm saying? Get over there. Uh -huh. Did that little boy walk out with a bonnet on? <laughs> they nosy. My sense. Boy, you try to be nosy is what you trying to be. No. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, okay. You could have waited. Yeah, my okay. I always check it for me. Okay. Turn um, to the room. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, yeah, right? Damn. Let me see. Because people nosy. They be trying to go all up in the background, too. Let's see if it's a 
Yeah, really. I can see you. I can see you. Hey, we can actually see you. We can see you, girl. Okay, how about my theory? Alright. Yeah. Now, what was your relationship? My kid's father. Okay, that's when I was. When was he murdered? Uh, 2017. So the guy you had a two year old baby with, you was never in a relationship? No, we just fucked and I got pregnant three months later. Like yeah. you said at one time. Yeah, on. sex one time? No, we were fucking. Yeah. We were fucking. Uh-huh. And <laughs> I got pregnant and like three months later I was pregnant. I came She said it like, yeah, we were just effing and, and yeah, I got pregnant. So it didn't happen from one time. So it wasn't a, just a, all of a sudden a little passion thing. You can, you had sex with him several times and didn't use protection. And then allow, and then, I ain't say allow, you didn't uh, make a priority for him to wear protection. And see, I'm not going to throw it on the woman one way, but you do have, you do have the right to say you can't touch me unless you put on some protection. But if you was letting him slide with it, of course, you're going to get pregnant. You didn't have three kids. You know what happens if you have unprotected sex. I don't care how good it feels. Like, you can't just keep dropping babies, man. Come on. My baby, I don't believe in abortions because I was grown. I knew what, what I was doing. So why kill a baby? Take that but responsibility. But you talk about the dude. And I need that. Even though I didn't want it, but I, I shouldn't have been fucking with no condoms. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Well, very transparent, I see. Um, yes. so, Nay, when was your last relationship? Okay, you know, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, it was his daddy. And uh, I want to say about like three weeks ago. So you're still having sex with a two year old dad? Why he a deadbeat? That's just crazy. But I don't want no more bodies on me. You feel me? Like, so I'd rather deal with the deadbeat ass, nothing ass nigga when I'm feeling a little frisky and because I don't do new bodies. You feel me? And uh, yeah, so whenever I'm feeling away. That's, that's just stupid. That's just stupid. You can. You sat there. And said all this about that OG ninja. And you still giving it to him. Just three weeks ago he hit. Now you know all this stuff. All this drama. You said you even went to jail over some mess with it. Baby mama drama. Going at it with your mom. Going, and you still. Let him hit it. Three weeks ago. What brother wants to come in here to that? I, I keep saying, I don't know why you ladies get on here and say you guys had relation with someone within the first, I mean, a, a month, two weeks. You know, if you said four months, okay, cool. But y'all be within weeks and days. And then y'all say, what's wrong with that? I mean, no man that got something going on is coming for that. None whatsoever. If you got to, you just got a dingaling sitting in the damn corner, man. You just break the glass for emergency. You go break the glass and get that and then do what you got to do and put it back. That's all. He's he just waiting over there. That's all it is. That's why no man's coming. Not a good one. You're going to get one come. They like the thick, you know, the thick girls. They're going to come get you and try to put another baby in you. I'll call him. And he come. See? He door dashed yeah, that day. And that's just Wow, she said he door dashed that thing. But what was the kind of qualities of the man you want again? You said? Wait, say it again. I said, what were the kind of qualities you desired in your kind again? What kind of qualities? Yes. She didn't say. Uh, I mean, like, okay. So, I can describe my kid's father. Hard working. You know, if he wasn't working, he was hustling, that was flipping over to, you know, just investing. Um, if you can't find a job, at least you could pick up on something, right? Because I don't, I don't judge. So, um, hardworking, good looking. I, 
I need to fix this audio, man. Is it mine? Because I got kind of good Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's you. I'm in Dallas. It could be me. I'm in Dallas. Somebody equipment oh, yeah, dying out like a battery dying or something. Um, someone, Lee, Lee Turner said standards but no accountability. So I guess he said you, you have standards but you're not taking any accountability. And what, and what is the accountability that I need to What say? is the standards? I Actually, I think you did, to be quite honest. I think you took accountability. Part. Yeah, that I was uh, loose in the head from, you know, being young and just losing somebody that I was, uh, I thought I was going to really raise my kids with. That's a lot to deal with. But, you know, she keeps going back to that. And I don't, you know, that's hard to go through with something like that. You care about you had three kids with him. I understand. But that can't be your reasoning so many years later to be making bad decisions like this. You're going to mess around and have another kid with this old ass dude. And you can't keep blaming that. It's the reason why you can't get yourself together. I ain't never heard you say yet. You went and got some counseling for it. Did you get counseling for your kid? I mean, I don't know how old they were when they was born. I mean, when that happened. But if you, thinking about your ex makes you go out and just have random sex with people or some wild sex with an old ass man. Maybe you need to go get some counseling. Because he definitely going to put another baby in you. And I don't mean no harm, but what, what man is not going to call, come, you got, he ain't got nothing going on. You hit him up, 32-year-old, hey, you want to get down? Yeah, he coming over to get it. Why not? He, I mean, this man's like, shit, I got this little young tenderoni over there. She keep calling. You must have fell in love with it because you keep calling him because he was just there three weeks ago. Just saying. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and I was I was just out there and I met my second son father and I did what I did and I took re re uh, responsibilities and I had the baby and I take care of him. <laughs> so. Well, let me ask you this. That's not the count um, they're talking about. I think there's a lot of things going on, right? And I will say this, okay, you know, you had your, your first, your three children's dad passed away. So I actually understand the grieving issue. And I, I feel like you took accountability for how you got your two-year-old baby. But the fact that you guys are still having sex after all that you told us about this man. See that? And I understand your, your, your logic in your mind is logical because we have a baby. I don't want to enter in more sexual activities. But I think a man of quality, this could be a red flag. There's a lot of things Hell that yeah. could be a red flag, especially since you have a two-year-old child that, and you're still sleeping with the child's father. So it's not even like... I mean, he's on a block list now. I mean, that was three weeks ago. Like, <laughs> girl, three weeks ago and shit. A block days. list. I three know. Weeks. And you said all these things about this man. You said he was old. He your mama friend. He all these things like you pretty much describe this man in the worst way, and he is the worst. He Remember is. the the elf ninja. I, I said he is the worst way. He is. Yeah, you're still you're still not the best way. So regardless of how, what you say, you still sleep with this man. Right. I slept with him. Yeah, you're right. So I'm just telling you how a man might the type of man I think you want will perceive this as why would I sign up for that. Well, it's not like I'm sleeping with a, a host. Uh, this is my kid, father. It's not like that's even worse. Man. You know what I mean? But that's easy cut off game. You know, no, like it's I not. Said, that's only when uh, when I'm bored. <laughs> right when you get but bored. But now I'm for real. Guys, pay attention. Pay attention. Y'all like to run and. Snatch the woman up and take care of her child. These kids be two and below. They still get with their baby dad. They Some of them still hope they can work it out with the baby dad. You just there until he, he comes around. Let's just be real. You know this. Some of you are just there. and She just hoping that that baby father come around to his senses and wants to be with her. We all know that when you get older, you'll figure it out. But that's what it is. 
That's why they still get with them here and there because they still have love for him. But your ass over here paying for everything. And he's not. But he's the one still getting to tap it. You just getting to babysit and spend some money buying some new damn baby clothes and some shoes. So that's why I say, no, nah, you need to stay away from that. Stay away. The matter is you're still sitting with the father of your child who will be in your life essentially for the rest of your life. And the exactly. baby's only two. Right. You're right. Um, you got some brain questions. Do you want them? Yeah, I do. Okay. Bobby said, Jesus be a fortress. <laughs> Wait, he said what? Jesus be a fortress. What that mean? I guess Jesus protect this situation or block this situation. Cover this young And what do he need to protect or block? You. Bobby, pay again to, to further confirm your statement. L -I said, okay. L I said, I'm proud of you for not getting an AB, I guess, abortion. Take accountability for your actions. But respectfully, your delusional come back when you stop being intimate. Um, that made me delusional. And uh, uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, the part you were saying uh, about yeah. the baby father is delusional. Said, it usually takes three months to start seeing red flags. This one took a little over three minutes. LOL. Shaking my head. Um, go get a cat, fellas. Go get a cat. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and the simple thing is. She probably a nice girl. She don't. She's probably a nice girl. I mean, she's not bad looking. A little on the thick side, but a lot of guys like that. But she has so many red flags, man. And the biggest one is that baby, daddy. You still involved with him, regardless how you feel. You get mad at him because you thought he blocked. A fifty-four year old man don't care about you blocking him. He's not on social media like that. The man can drive over to your house and see you. That's probably what he's going to do. He ain't going to wait for no you to answer your text message or call. He'll drive over to your house. Because that's what they used to doing. That's why he blocked. He was just there three weeks ago. He might want to be blocked. It's like, shit, I ain't got to worry about you. Go ahead and block me so I don't have to show up. I don't have to do nothing. And she didn't say if he taking care of this baby either. You know what I mean? Or he giving her money. And that might be what's going on. He's handing her some money to take care of some things other than just child support. You know what I mean? That might she might he might just be her sugar daddy. Let's just bring it back around to that. And that just might be it. But they they behind the computer or whatever the phone talking shit. So it take motherfucking courage and fucking balls to get up on this show Down and she tell mad. your motherfucking life and your secrets is all about you. So for you to just be typing and saying what you're saying, degrading people, on because how you feel, it doesn't really matter, though. Because my life going to keep lifing at the end of the day. So I really don't care about what my nobody gonna on keep here lifing. that's sitting back on a computer or a phone saying. So okay, red flag that. This will be, I mean, this is why I asked you first if you want me to read the questions or not. This will be the last one. True okay. Teachers said, how is she in child care with a toxic and dangerous lifestyle? She's cussing, talking about jail, hooking up with different men. Hooking up with different men? Girl, I only got two baby daddies. Don't play with me like that. I ain't hooking up with no motherfucking men. Yes, I deal with my kid's father every now and then because I have a kid by him. But cussing, so what? We all cuss, and don't make me no bad mother. Do you have any kids? Is my question. See how she getting a little angry now. But the profanity, you know, it's kind of red flag because you want to know, like, she getting upset, like, all of it start coming out now. You know, because people now pointing out some things on her. Instead of taking, you call in. You call, you watch Kendra's show. You know what they do. They come for you. So now you're getting in your feelings that they calling you out on some things. And you should be like, yo, you know, you're right. But from this point going further, I'm going to change some things. And that's how you got to fix that. You can't, you can't bend into what they're saying. 
So she's actually red flagging all over the place because she's bending into what they're saying. You got you to switch up out of that, young lady. Take, the count, take it, be accountable, and change. And maybe you'll find somebody that's in, actually on a better level than what you're doing right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with the questions. Back to you. What are right. You have she to get, she can't the, take it. Cussing, cussing, and whatever the hell they say. Then my flaws I got to work on, apparently. All right. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Yeah. Because I'm a good person, like I cook, I clean, I take care of my kids and my responsibilities. At the end of the day, I'm not broke, I'm not on welfare, I'm not on none of that. Um, I respect people who respect me. Um, I don't know, I'm just me. You gotta find out for the rest of it, I guess. And what's the age range you want to date? How 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 did how did how did somebody ask you? Why would somebody want you? And then you say, well, you got to find out. You come on these shows, you know she's going to ask this. You should have something ready to answer. That's, pre I mean, pre-prepared. Let's just be real. You should be ready for it. But you in your feelings, and now you're just throwing out some stuff. I still don't know anything about you, except you got kids. We already knew that. And we kind of hope you take care of your house, clean your house, but... Everybody has their own description of how they clean and cook, too, you know. And it, a lot of women out here not cleaning their homes and not cooking. They microwaving the hell out of some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, my age. And uh, I'm scared to say anybody older because these older people is childish as fuck. Okay. Um, so I'll say, like, around my age and I'll try, like, 40. 40? Yeah. Okay. And should it be a Fresno? You might need about 45. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere? Yeah. He don't got to be black. I really don't want no black nigga, though. I ain't going to lie. Uh, I think I'm going to start. Okay, Phil. What do you prefer? Um, I do Mexican because my kids is black and Mexican. So I'll do mix Mexican. So okay. your child's father was Mexican that got murdered? A Mexican brother. Yeah, Mexican to black. Okay. Yeah, Mexican you brothers, Mexican dog. Man. There you go. Is it true? The, your mom's friend was black, though, correct? Yeah, like Indian, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So prefer, the preference is Mexican, man. Now, let me ask you this. Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? Yeah, I just made it. Mm -hmm. Is it Nay Love? Yeah, it is. Let me see. Is it the way you spell it right there? Yeah. Nate, love. Um, um, what well, is I'm Mexican and black. This is and you? Indian and black. Wait, like, I don't know, like, it's like you have cut off, too. Like, this is you? Like that for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look a little I actually different. I that today. Nayla, this is our today picture. Yes, it is. Okay. So, hmm. Nayla, 32 child care. Child care. Looking for a kind, friendly, God-fearing humor. Zeal breakers, no gangsters, gang bangers, no pedophiles, no weed smokers. Can't be bipolar or have mental issues. Can't be broke. No stinky breath. No missing tooth. No liars. No manipulators. No narcissists. I'm just saying, y'all probably broke. And not black. The key thing, she does not want a black man. Why didn't you put that in the description? You do not want a black man. You want a Mexican mix or Mexican man. Why isn't that on there? Over here packing all that while y'all trying to talk shit about me. I got all my teeth. Wait, what did you I say? Know. I said they probably over there packing all of it that I said I did not want. That's probably why they sitting, <laughs> sitting up there talking about me. She said, "Y'all, she, she, she said, you got my deal, deal breakers. breakers. <laughs> y'all got all my deal breakers. I want somebody to get up on here that was talking that shit. Get up on here. Let me, let me see. Let me see what you working there with. Ain't nobody about to argue with you about this. <laughs> she said, you don't put see. it out there to. The... You don't want no more paid questions. You have more, but it's up to you. No. Yeah, go ahead. Nah, she can't help. I'm a Leo, baby. I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> I'm ready for it all. The moon god said you're still being intimate with the Debbie 
Yeah, you're you're broke by association. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's a good mm -hmm. one. Yeah. No, because that means like if my friends are hoes and I'm hoes, I'm a hoe too. That ain't right. But I get the little terminology: birds of a feather flock together. But no, I don't believe in no, that either. So you I mean, complain about deadbeat. I guess and I'm you broke, still screwing man. a deadbeat. Okay. <laughs> Who's the master said? Like my uncle Willie always told me, the baby daddy is still lurking. While the new guy is courting and spending all his little money. Didn't I say that earlier? That's what's happening. Baby dad is still coming through. And you want somebody else to come and love you up and wish you off to happy land. Not happening. Mm, not necessarily. But oh yeah. Your Uncle Willie probably had some bad experience on paying money with somebody baby daddy that was lurking sorry for him all right baby girl well let's do it she's nay love fellas for the men that are interested nay love <laughs> on the kendra g singles dating app okay so that's all the nay love that's that's all we're gonna do on her all i can say is ladies you get to a certain age you gotta you gotta reel it in you gotta reel it in i know a lot of y'all say y'all men talk about when y'all hate Nobody hate women. Just because we point out some things and really, you know, like I told my wife, I try to bring stuff up to correct that, correct the behavior. If we don't talk about it, it never gets uh, corrected. And so we keep ignoring bad behavior by our women. It's in our kids, our young kids. They do it, male and female, and we all ignore because we don't want to say nothing. We don't want nobody to get mad, or we don't want the person to come at us or whatever. And we allow these kids to become adults, and then they do stuff like this. And then when someone try to correct them, oh, they flipping and cussing and, and ready to throw hands now. But the, the point is, you have to learn. Like, she's still talking about she want to have more babies. No, you need to stop. You got three by one person that's passed away, but they probably got a last name. You got another one by a deadbeat you call. So if another person come in and give you another child and then want you hoping to marry you, you have five. You just digging a hole deeper. And all these women that are having all these kids, yeah, you can raise them. And you'll get with a dude, but the dude ain't never no quality dude. Just some dude. That's it. Working a regular old job. And you can't get ahead and now you're mad. So all I do is try to talk to people how to create some kind of way to better how we moving out here. Now, if you want to get mad at me for doing that, then sh go ahead. Be mad. But that ain't going to stop what I'm doing. And that's why I'm up out of here. And it's your boy. And y'all take care. Have fun. Do whatever you do on your day. I got to get up in this gym. Y'all take care. Peace. I'm out.